So soon, Adeboye had grown to his teenage years and a village school was established in the community. And Adeboye had this, uh, he had this urge, he wanted to go to school. He wanted to, he had this dream of going to school and becoming a big in education. So Adeboye wanted to go to school, but his dad refused due to poverty because they were very, very poor. His background was a very, very humble one. They were very, very poor that even the poor called them poor. So Adeboye refused to eat because his father didn't have money to take him to school. The mother begged the father that I'm going to support you, but the father said it's not just possible. So Adeboye refused to eat for many days. So the father was like, "What is the problem? Why are you not eating?" So if you if Adeboye told him that he really wants to go to school, so when he told him that he really wants to go to school, the father granted his wish and then allowed him to go to school. So he was taken to school, and when he was taken to school, his teacher in school discovered that he was gifted in arithmetic, which is now known as mathematics. He was gifted in mathematics, so um, he had to he had to go to school suffer self I would and do all sorts of menial job and was even stung by bees and had so many challenges he had to work in order to pay for his education. So in 1941, moving back to Pa Akindayomi's story, in 1941, Akindayomi and his wife moved to Lagos and started their marital life. God used them mightily, especially in the area of barren women. They were in the Cherubim and Seraphim church, but God used them especially in the area of barren women in the sense that they prayed for many barren women and those women um, conceived, but they had no child. They suffered childlessness for so many years, and even the baby, the, 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 the Pa Akindayomi's wife, Esther, later conceived of, died after 30 days, but their faith was not shaken. So in 1952, um, Pa Akindayomi was instructed by God to leave the Cherubim and Seraphim Church and start his own uh, fellowship known as the Ogo Olua Society in Ebutemeta, Lagos. So God appeared to him and told him to... When he started Ogo Olua Society, one day when he was praying, God appeared to him in a vision and told him to look at the wall. And then when he looked at the wall, God now gave him the name Redeemed Christian Church of God. And that was how the name came up. So when he woke up from that trance, he told a, a brother who was a church brother, a close brother in the, in the fellowship, Ogo Olua Fellowship with him. He told the brother and the brother was shocked that how did God tell you this in English and you cannot even speak English and you are able to remember the words as you are awake and you are you are able to remember. Let's not forget that Pa Kindayomi was a was an illiterate. He couldn't speak English. So Pa Kindayomi shared the vision with this brother, told him the instructions God gave him about the church that the church should not merge with any foreign or overseas church because it will go around the world on its own. That they shouldn't copy any other church in area of fundraising and that if they obey all these instructions, God will bless the church and that sin must not be allowed in the church uh, because God, when Jesus comes back in his second coming, he's coming to meet with the redeemed Christian church of God. These are the instructions God gave Pa Akindayomi that he was relating to this fellow close brother. So Adeboye married Foluke, who is now Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye at uh, married, married Pastor Mrs. Foluke and then um, at 30, Pastor E. Adeboye had built his house and he has got his PhD and he wanted to, he had this vision of becoming the youngest vice chancellor in Africa. That was his vision. So in those days, the beliefs of native doctors were rampant in, in campuses where they lived. The beliefs of native doctors were so rampant. So his fellow lecturer friend, played by Seyid Balogun, took him, took um, Pastor Ia Adebuye in the movie to um, uh, a native doctor for protection. According to him, this friend of his told him that he's young, he's promising, a lot of people are after him, a lot of enemies are after him, so he needs protection. So he took him to a particular native doctor who told them to bring goats, to bring a goat for a sacrifice. So Pastor E. Adepoye went back and told him that, uh, told his friend, played by Sayyid Balogun, that he would not do this. Sayyid Balogun, after so much persuasion, E. Adepoye agreed and took the goat back to the native doctor. The goat was so stubborn on the way and he suffered before he could get the goat to the native doctor. And then when he got there, he discovered something shocking. The native doctor's leg was broken and he was like, Baba, what happened to your leg? And Baba was like, hmm, my son, I just had an accident just now and it's only God that saved me. So Pastor E. Adepoye was very, very discouraged. He was like, is this the man that wants to protect me. If this man wants, that wants to protect me, his leg is broken. He, he could still suffer from an accident. Then me, is it my neck I'm going to break? So that discouraged him and he did not go back to complete the sacrifice any longer. So some fellowship brethren played by RMD and a sister came to preach to Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye, but he rejected the message saying that his father was a bonafide child of God. Meanwhile, he was living in sin, but he rejected the message. So another native doctor 
um, he he went to pa, pa, Pastor E. Adeboye went to another native doctor and told the native doctor that he needs protection. He just bought a new car. And then the native doctor gave him three charms, one to tie on the steering, one to put in the boot, and one to put on the, under his seat. That the one under the seat is a, the disappearance charm that whenever an accident wants to happen, he was going to disappear immediately. And then when Pastor E. E. Adeboye, when e. e. Adeboye Enoch went with his, went and put the charm and placed it in the strategic places where this native doctor told him to place them he discovered that in one week alone he had three accidents so that discouraged him and he knew that this native doctor thing is not just working so E.A. Adeboye discovered that this native doctor thing was just not working. Sicknesses upon sicknesses kept visiting his household. His baby was sick. I think that should be Dare or Leke Adeboye. They showed when they were falling sick and all that. He said, according to the narration, in a whole, in a week, there, there is hadn't, a, a, a week, in a week, they spent so much on hospital bills until one day they were tired and then they attended a church service. Of course, the church was the Redeemed Christian Church of God where Pak Indayomi was ministering. And then when Pastor e. Ead, when E. Adeboye walked in with his wife, the message was so powerful that E. E. Adeboye and his wife had to come out for the altar call made by um, Pak Indayomi as of that time and then they give their life to Christ. So, E.A. Adeboye and Folu Adeboye gave their life to Christ and began to become gradually serious with the things of God. And then one day, Pa Akindayomi was preaching a message. And then within the message, he said, in the message, he said, God has instructed him to tell the members that all of them working, whether self-employed or those working for the government, should go to the bank and withdraw all that is inside and bring to the work of, bring to the church that God wants to use that to expand his work. And then Pastor E.A. Adeboye and his wife reluctantly raised up their hand and they were trying to bring it down when Pa Akindayomi and Encourage them to raise up their hand that God wants to use them. And then I think they went and withdrew the money and then they came and gave it in the altar of God. And then so Pa Akindayomi instructed uh, as of then um, Enoch Adejare Adeboye has started showing interest in doing the work of God. So Pa Akindayomi told him to escort him to Oshogo that one of the branches or one of the parishes had issues. The pastor is giving the members and the members and the pastor and the members and the, the pastor and the ministers are having some rifts. So let them go and see how the church is doing. So the next day came and then Pa Akindayomi and Pastor Ia Adeboye went to this parish. When they arrived this parish, the pastor of that the parish played by Shegu and Rinzi was so arrogant. He was so arrogant. He talked to Pa Akindayomi anyhow that Pa Akindayomi wants to overthrow him. The church would have been nothing without him. And who, who is, what is the church without him? His energy and his strength has been used to, to move the church forward. And they are trying to look down on him. Now, who is, who, who is the church without him? He said so many arrogant things. And Pa Akindayomi was begging him that he's not here to dethrone anybody. He just wants to settle the matter amicably and let the church of God move on but um, the pastor played by Shagwa Rinze kept on abusing and talking arrogantly to Park Indayomi. Park Indayomi fled up and got angry and walked out on him and as they went out Park Indayomi laid a curse on it's not a curse really but he he made some pronouncement that except he doesn't serve a living God the wrath of God will be on that pastor and then days later the pastor played by Shagwa Rinze was his body his whole body was covered by leprosy. So the relationship between Pa Akindayomi and Ie Adeboye began to become closer and um, one day Pa Akindayomi called Ie Adeboye and told him that he is going to take over the flock after him and Enoch Adejare Adeboye of course was very very scared and reluctant. He was like no not me this is not me I can't be the one to do this I'm just a new convert I'm how old am I in the faith there are many other people worthy enough and Pa Akindayomi would tell him that no God will make you understand better don't worry it is not about your age it is who God wants to use and that is what God told me and then pa, pa Akindayomi called some key members some elders of the church as of that time and told them that God told him when he traveled to Jerusalem at the Mount of Transfiguration that Pastor Ia Debe was the one that was going to um, succeed him as the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. There was a lot of protest. They said he was too young. He, he, could, he was too arrogant. Pastor Ia Debe is too arrogant. A lot of elders protested that when did he join the ministry? It's over their dead body. It's not possible that he's going to come and take over over their dead body. They protested and said so many things that Ia Debe is too arrogant arrogant some someone one of them even asked is it because he is so educated so there were there was a lot of protest and jealousy so of course 
Pa Kindayomi passed on and then he had already left his message behind, so they couldn't do otherwise. And then elders were still protesting and saying all sorts of things that Pastor Iadeboye isn't worthy for the position, but he had already said it, Pa Kindayomi had already said it, so they had no other option than to crown him um, the general overseer or to make him the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, although some of the elders as at that time supported the move. So the ministry began from there and then um, Pastor Ia Adeboye was dodging, I think there was a woman that partic a particular woman that came to the church for prayers, her son died, so she came to the church that, that she was looking for Pastor Ia Adeboye to lay hands on, 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 her, on her child that had died, so she didn't meet him, unfortunately he had traveled abroad for a program, is he abroad or in a, to a part of Nigeria he had traveled and then she met his workers in the church and then the worker said oh he's not around he has traveled then she was disappointed so when she left when pastor adeboye came back the workers told him that there was a woman that was here to look for you she wanted you to pay pray for her child that died pastor Ia adeboye was like wow me i should pray she wants me to lay her, my hand on her dead child for what purpose and then pastor Ia adeboye from there started yearning for power and then he started yearning for power for the holy spirit to use him and then his yearning for power made him to go on fasting and prayer and then during that fasting and prayer god told him something that um has he not received the power through baptism already has he not received the holy ghost through baptism he said yes i have received the holy holy ghost so the holy ghost told him there and then in that professing and prayer to believe his word that says um that in in his name shall he cast out demons in god's name shall he cast out demons and he shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and all that and then pastor Ia Adeboye should believe and begin to use it and then pastor Ia Adeboye believed it and began to use the word of god and then the next woman that came to pray the next woman that came with a dead child pastor Ia Adeboye laid hands on the dead child and then the dead child came back to life so this time around, Pastor Ia Adeboye prayed and the dead, dead child came back to life. This particular miracle was the beginning of signs and wonders in the life of Pastor Ia Adeboye. From then on, signs and wonders started happening through Pastor Ia Adeboye. And then one day, Pastor Ia Adeboye went to the beach to take a walk and also pray. While he, was, while he was in the beach and was walking, God called him immediately and then he stopped and bent down and he stopped. God told him to bend down and then when he bent down, God told him to draw the, 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 the picture of a man and then when he drew the picture of a man, God told him to clean it up and then he cleaned it up. God now told him that, do you see the man and the, and the way you cleaned it off and the way you cleaned your drawing off, the day you forget that I'm the one that is performing these signs and wonders through you, that is how I'm going to wipe you off on the surface of this earth and nobody will ever know that someone like Adeboye ever existed. So this was a very significant word from the Holy Spirit to him and it, that is why, he, uh, according to the, 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 the film, that is why till date Pastor E. Adeboye never forgets to reference and acknowledge God in any time he performs any signs and wonders through the Holy Spirit. Period. So um, that now led to the Lekki 98, that over 6 million people gathered at Lekki in, in Lagos for the Holy Ghost Festival. And from then on, um, the Holy Ghost uh, service continued.